Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks, and this is the ASUS Transformer Pad Prime. Uh, well, nothing new, and it looks a little bit chaotic on the desktop. But this is ma mainly because uh, we're using this tablet for all our gaming reviews and uh, if we're trying some new apps. Um, but what I would like to show you is a little update that just came in. Let me just uh, head over to the settings. And then let's go down here about tablet and maybe you can see this. It's uh, Android 4.1.1. That means finally Jelly Bean arrived on the transformer pad, which makes it also, okay, let's slow this a little bit, which makes it also the very first uh, 10 inch Android tablet that comes with Jelly Bean, as far as I know, and I'm pretty sure that I am uh, spot on with this. Um, what's new? Well, first of all, not so much. Right? Um, it's very smooth on the, on the desktop here. You see all the animations are running at like 60 frames a second. Right? And you also have these little um, smooth kind of transitions. But, I mean, Ice Cream Sandwich was already very, very close to what you can see right now. Um, and it's also the very first Jelly Bean that comes in a new tablet mode. So there is no more notification bar that we can just uh, kind of pull down like on the Nexus 7. But what you can also notice is, see this little animation for the notification here? From this transparent into yeah, um, the non-transparent window. So that's new and also we have Google Now. Here we go. And it's the first time I see the Google Now cards now um, in two columns. So that's brand new. It's been showing my uh, my way back home here from the office in Taipei to um, southeastern Taipei and a bunch of locations here like the Breast Monkey which is a nice sports bar. Um, but anyways, oops, there's a network failure which is uh, based on the weak Wi-Fi in our video studio. So we definitely need to work on this. Um, besides that, it's it's basically the same, right? Um, but let's try out um, adding some widgets here. Or let's head over here. Uh, what about the ASUS battery? Oh well, this is already a full screen, right? So it just tells me that there is no additional room. Let's get rid of this mising stuff. Yeah, that's way too big. Let's rearrange this a little bit and let's see if this still works. Okay, let's try the ASUS Task Manager. Here we go. So it's auto arranging the icons around the widget. And if there's not enough room uh, on the desktop, it should also auto resize the widget itself. And um, what we could also do is running a couple of benchmarks or whatnot. I mean, it didn't change anything in terms of the hardware. So I would expect to get pretty much the same results. Um, first of all, um, the impression is that the animations are just butter smooth and that's why it's called Project Butter. Um, there is one disadvantage here. It won't support Flash anymore. So if you would like to head over to, to YouTube and you want to watch uh, embedded Flash videos on Vimeo or whatever, if they're not supporting any HTML5 player, you're screwed. And actually it told me that while I was installing the new, um, the new firmware. It also got rid of the press reader, which was a kind of magazine style news reader uh, from ASUS. So, but you can uh, still find it on the App Store. So besides that, uh, all I can say is, well, you have Google Now right now, um, which you can also access from the lock screen. Let me just show you this. Okay. Okay. Nice one. That's a presentation effect. It seems like when I'm switching it off, that there isn't actually a lock screen. Kind of interesting because as soon as um, 
let's do a little, let's do a reboot here, so you can also see that. So as soon as I've been uh, booting it up for the very first time, it was the same lock screen as on the Google Nexus 7. Let's see if there are any performance or speed differences when we're shutting down and when we're booting it up again. I'm pretty sure that I will still run some benchmarks on it very soon just to see if there are any differences compared to the Prime uh, with Android Ice Cream Sandwich. I think the latest one over here was 4.0.4 but I'm doubting that we will see anything different. So let's see how long it takes to boot it up. It, this is by the way a Taiwanese version of the uh, Transformer Prime. Um, it's been rolling out in North America already. I also know that they're rolling it out to Oh, okay. It's still app optimizing some apps. Interesting. Mm -hmm. They're also rolling it out in uh, Central Europe right now. Actually, I think it should be a kind of global rollout. Okay, so where's the lock screen? Come on! Oh well, that's, that's definitely interesting. <laughs> I've been booting it for the first time. I've had a lock screen and uh, it seems like it installed lock screen a uh, lock screen begun app. So, anyways, that's a brief, very, very brief first impression, even though I've been talking for over seven minutes right now, of our Android Jelly Bean, the very, very first um, tablet Jelly Bean version for a 10-incher that's available right now. And this is the ASUS Transformer Pad Prime. I'm still Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.